Last month, CTL founder and CEO Robin Zeng said his company plans to offer an off-the-shelf electric car platform with an integrated long-range battery. The platform will contain everything needed to make a running vehicle. Customers will only need to design and build their own interior and exterior. The goal is to sharply reduce electric car development costs by a factor of 10 so it would only cost a few million dollars to bring new brands and models to market rather than a few billion. It is expected to reduce the time needed to develop new models to 12 to 18 months as compared to the 36 months or longer that is common in the industry. That in turn should open the auto industry up to new competitors, which will spur innovation and reduce costs to consumers. Last week, Reuters had more details about the SIA TLEV platform known as Panchi, which means bedrock in Chinese. Whether that is a reference to the vehicles featured in the cartoon The Flintstones is any bodice guess. Such EV platforms are known in the industry as skateboards or flexible platforms that combine electric motors, batteries, controls and suspensions. The latest word on the new EV chassis is that it can withstand a 120 km per hour, 75 miles per hour, frontal impact without catching fire or exploding. This sort of safety, will be a key selling point. The Panchi chassis will have a range of about 1,000 kilometers, 627 miles. Due to the extremely high crash speed and intensity, there has been no previous instance of any new energy vehicle daring to challenge a 120 kilometers H frontal pole impact test, said Ni Jun, cattle chief manufacturing officer. The speed for a frontal impact safety test in the commonly used China New Car Assessment Program is 56 km per hour. Cattle will collaborate with other Chinese automakers. Chinese EV brand Avatar, which is co-owned by Sia TL, state-owned Chang'an Auto, and Hua will be the first to develop EV models based on the Panchi chassis, said Chen Zhao, president of Avatar, at a press conference. He did not specify when such a model would be launched, nor did he say what will happen to the passenger compartment that sits on top of the chassis in a 75 miles per hour frontal crash. Presumably, that is someone else's department. Other companies interested in the SIA TL platform are China's Xpeng and Shanghai-based engineering firm Launch Design. The chassis is crucial to SIA TL chairman Robin Zeng's ambitions to push the Chinese battery giant towards further growth. Besides this, Cattle is also looking into micro power grids and is building a battery swapping service. Cattle has a global market share of roughly 37% in EV batteries, according to battery market tracker s &E Research. Zeng disclosed the Panchi project to Reuters in November, saying it could allow a niche EV firm to be profitable by selling just 10,000 cars a year. That could open the industry to new EV players in economies without established automakers. Zeng also said that Sia TL had shown the Panchi technology to Porsche for a potential luxury EV and to investors in the United Arab Emirates who are eager to start a local EV brand. The company has been working on developing EV platforms with the battery integrated into the chassis directly since 2020 and has formed partnerships with automakers including VinFast, BIC, and Netta to develop models based on the platform over the past two years. Hello and welcome to the Electric Explorer. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. We bring you the latest and hottest news on electric mobility every day. We're excited to introduce three membership levels, Circuit Squires, Tesla Knights, and Volt Sovereigns. Each level offers exclusive perks and content tailored for EV enthusiasts. Your support helps us deliver engaging video updates daily and keeps you connected to the EV community. Join us and be a part of the electric revolution. The other EV news from China this week is a new battery electric pickup truck from Radar, one of a dozen or more divisions of Geely. According to Car News China, the Radar King Kong electric pickup truck is now available in China with a starting price of 99,800 yuan, $13,700. This model is a replacement for the unpopular D6. The Radar King Kong costs 37,000 yuan, $5,100, less than its predecessor. The RD6 was the first model from the Radar brand when it began in 2022. Originally, it was priced at 178,800 yuan, $25,000. Due to low sales, Geely lowered the starting price of the RD6 to 136,800 yuan, $18,750, but the truck was still a slow seller, so Geely took a bold step and launched an even cheaper variant called King Kong. The new model looks a lot like its predecessor, which is no longer available. The dimensions of the standard version of the King Kong are 5,260mm long by 1,900mm wide and 1,865mm high, 
17.25 to by 6.25 to by 6 feet. The long wheelbase version boasts a length of 5,500 millimeters, 18 feet, long. The interior of the Radar King Kong keeps the same design language as other current Geely products. The single motor, rear-wheel drive version of the Radar King Kong is rated at 180 kilowatt, 241 horsepowers, and 309 Nm, 226 lbft of torque. 0 to 100 kilometers, H acceleration is said to be 8.1 seconds. It is available with four battery options, 42, 55, 73, and 86 kilowatt for a CLTC range of 310 kilometers, 192 miles, for the smallest battery on up to 605 kilometers, 376 miles, for the largest battery. The 4WD variant of the Radar King Kong has dual motors, with a combined 280 kilowatt, 375 horsepower, and 485 newton meters, 358 lbft, 0 to 100 kilometers. H takes 5.7 seconds and the all-wheel drive version offers three battery options of 42, 63, and 73 kilowatt hour. The range of the King Kong for WD is 330 to 520 kilometers, 200 to 323 miles, using the CLTC standard. Previously, the 4WD variant of the Radar D6 pickup truck had a combined peak power of 315 kilowatt, 422 horsepowers. The Radar King Kong is available for purchase in seven trim levels. The first four of them are for the single motor truck, that starts at 99,800 yuan, $13,700, and tops out at 149,800 yuan, $20,500, with the largest battery. The top three trim levels are for the 4WD version and cost between 119,800 yuan, $16,400, and 159,800 yuan, $21,900. All trim levels cost significantly less money than the now discontinued or D6. Legacy automakers are terrified of what the Chinese auto industry is capable of. The standard time to plan test, and produce a new model is 3 to 5 years. In China, it is a third of that. New models are being announced almost every week, and they keep getting less costly with each iteration. Those legacy automakers have every reason to be worried.